Bruce Wayne was born in Gotham. As a young child, Bruce Wayne watched his parents murdered before his eyes. Thomas and Martha Wayne were walking home from the Martha Theater one night. With their son, when they were held up at gunpoint by thief who demanded the pearl necklace that Martha was wearing. When Thomas refused to surrender, both he and Martha were shot in the street. Bruce was then raised at the Wayne Manor estate with the help from the wise and lawyer butler, Alfred Pennyworth. Bruce had very few friends during his childhood. Bruce swore an oath to rid the city of the evil that had taken his parents' life. He traveled. He spent his youth traveling the world, training himself in intellectual and physical perfection, and learning a variety of crime-fighting skills, including chemistry, criminology, forensics, martial arts, and gymnastics. At age 14, Bruce Wayne began attending courses at Cambridge and Sorbonne and other European universities. However, he never stayed long when Alfred dropped out after one semester. his body and mind developed to perfection. Despite having all the skills and methods to fight crime, he still felt that there was something missing. Later, Bruce recalled his fear of the past as a child. He then decided to make his appearance resemble a bat. Wayne designed himself a cosmic group with experimental technology and set out against the crime and corruption that thrived in Gotham City. Wayne's Bruce allies assisted in district attorney Harvey Dent. Most of the Gotham City Police Department sent a force to capture him. He gained his most powerful at LA when he met Lucian and James Gordon, one of the few honest cops on the force. They developed a working relationship operating outside of the law when they needed to. Batman's presence in Gotham City generated a new breed of criminals. The first inspired was Catwoman, a dangerous structure using his style and method stories their own ends. His next challenge was, was Dr. Hugo Strange, a mad scientist who Created Monster Man to do his bidding. He met his greatest nemesis when the Joker first appeared. A brilliant serial killer dressing like a clown and murdering people. He had been exposed to chemicals in an accident that drove him completely insane. Batman swore to revenge on the Gotham for creating him. This led to the creation of a bat signal, a giant spotlight displayed in the sky whenever danger is, is danger and Batman is needed. The Scarecrow was an outcast who developed techniques to strike terror into the hearts of his victims. Batman and his trusted allies, James Gordon and Harvey Dent, met up on the rooftop of the police headquarters one night. And they said that they would bring down the crime led by Carmine, the Roman Falcon, and Sal Moroni that were controlling their town. Although it was necessary to bend the rules in their efforts, they agreed that they would never break them and become as bad as the evil they thought. Meanwhile, a serial killer named Holiday began stalking prominent mafiosos and shooting them dead. Gotham's new breed of criminals was replacing traditional gangsters and Undergo was being taken over by custom freaks. Batman's president of Gotham is controlled because of this. 